So this is a Scarab 22 uh, trimaran. It was designed by Ray Kendrick and it was built in 2007 by Olivier Blanc. And if you take a look at, uh, you do a Google search for Scarab 22 trimaran, you'll definitely find this boat. Um, Olivier did a um, big uh, blog post of every single step putting this thing together. Um, it's all um, vacuum bagged foam core, um, really nice boat. And I just finished installing a uh, Navy um, 3.0 e-propulsion upboard um, on this boat, and um, it's a fairly calm morning. I don't. I think there's a little wind in the harbor here, but I think there's no wind out in the bay still. So I thought we'd go out and take this for a spin and try, you know, going at different speeds and see how it performs. All right. So I put the upboard down. And I've got this wood handle rigged up on it just for if I'm coming into a dock so I can point the outboard in the direction I want to go. Um, this particular boat has a really nice remote throttle I'll show you in a sec. Uh, but these are the E60 batteries. I've got three of them. This is the one under the aft cockpit. And if I just push the remote switch here, I can hear the batteries come on. There you go, so I got 91% charge. It's about 8 kilowatts of power. The 9 kilowatts of it is fully charged. Um, it's a 3 kilowatt motor, so it could go full speed for 3 hours. Um, this is the little remote control. i just turn it on here. And this is Bluetooth, and it's got a little solar power uh, charger on the back of it. Keep it going. Your normal um, sort of setup. And then um, basically, if I just move the throttle, you can hear the motor kick on. Back there. Pretty nice. Um, so, and on the control here, shows the percent on the battery, um, the speed here, um, the distance. Right now, it's showing distance um, traveled, but if I just push that button, now it's showing distance that I can go, showing 99.9 uh, .9 miles right now because we're not using anything. Um, but this has uh, close to 100 miles worth of range at full charge anyhow, um, so it's pretty good. And uh, this also is capable of doing regen, so there's a little plug icon you might be able to see there. Um, so if I'm sailing this and um, with the motor down, it will um, that will start to um, basically uh, pulse and uh, recharging, the, recharging the batteries. Um, eventually, I'll be adding a couple of foldable solar panels on both of the trampolines out here. Hopefully get about 500 watts of power uh, on those. And so that'll, you know, help to keep the batteries batteries charged up. I uh, used to have a little Torquedo 1103 outboard on here, which was fine. Um, it got me on and off the, the mooring and into the dock and stuff like that. Uh, but I wanted to be able to go further and do uh, some cruising. So that's why I've retrofitted it uh, for, with this system. So go for a spin and see how it goes. So essentially now we're using a thousand watts of uh, power. So, and we've got um, 9,000 watts altogether in the batteries. We're driving, uh, we're going at five knots. Uh, so we will be um, covering in nine hours, uh, basically 45 miles and um, can see here it's saying that we'll go about 40 miles and that's just because the batteries are only um, 90 percent right now so um, all of that makes sense math lines up and uh, you know 45 miles is, is pretty pretty good especially at, at five knots we're, we're flipping right along and that's a one-third of the full speed capability of the motor so it's pretty fast 
And we will go up a little bit more. And as we increase in, in engine RPM and current draw, there we go, it's about 1,500. As you can see, the speed doesn't really increase much. We've pretty much hit hull speed, so we're pushing it harder now, uh, going 5.2 knots, but that's, you know, that's not much faster than five knots and we're using, you know, 50% more power. So that's a silly thing to do. Really don't think there's any reason to go over a thousand watts while doing this. So let's go the other way. Actually, we could stop it again at 500. Watch out for a lobster pot buoy. Stop, try to get back to 500 just to we confirm those numbers. Yeah, there we are. Close to 500. Um, I'm doing about four knots, so that's consistent uh, with what we saw before. So now if we go down to, say, 300 watts, which I like this. I think this is a pretty nice speed. Um, at about 300 watts uh, we're doing three and a half knots 3.4 which on a day like this just hanging out here enjoying the scenery maybe some wildlife to show up there's a little bird over there um, lots of seals up here I haven't seen too many porpoises this year um, there were some humpback whale sightings over in Camden earlier this spring that's over that way uh, but this is the sort of day where you might hear uh, hear wildlife or see things and it's a nice perfectly fine speed to just kind of cruise along and so the upshot though is that uh, you know at 300 watts and um, three knots of, of speed uh, we can go a really long way um, this is probably, uh, I don't have a calculator because I'm using my phone, uh, but that is uh, 30 hours, 27 hours or so at three knots. So that's, um, you know, that, that's almost 100 miles of range. Um, on, on this, uh, at the, like this. So this, you know, that's fabulous. You just cruise along like this all, all day long and no, no problem. And if I've got two, you know, if I've got 500 watts of solar panels out here on these trampolines on a day like today, they'd be getting, you know, full sun right now. Um, we could be actually charging the batteries while traveling along at this speed, which is, which is pretty awesome. So I'm enjoying this. I think it was good good thing um, to do. I've also this year set this up. I've got an autopilot up here, Pelagic autopilot, um, which is not on the, I don't have it on the tiller right now, but it's a, basically a tiller pilot and, and that works really nicely. So it gives me um, the ability to wander around the boat, do things while the boat steers itself. And, and that's been a big help also. So hope this has been useful. Thanks. So back in the harbor. Thanks for watching. So this is a Scarab 22 uh, trimaran. It was designed by Ray Kendrick and it was built in 2007 by Olivier Blanc. And if you take a look at, uh, you do a Google search for Scarab 22 trimaran, you'll definitely find this boat. Um, Olivier did a um, big uh, blog post of every single step putting this thing together. Um, it's all um, vacuum bagged foam core. Um, really nice boat and I just finished installing a uh, Navy um, 3.0 e-propulsion upward um, on this boat and um, it's a fairly calm morning I don't I think there's a little wind in the harbor here but I think there's no wind out in the bay still so I thought we'd go out and take this for a spin and try you know going at different speeds and see how it performs <laughs>